people think so much has just been given to me and it's crazy they don't see all the long nights that I took sleeping on the floor of the gym you know people think I'm so like naturally gifted and all this like no I've been man I've been busting my ass for many many years you can lie to everybody you can lie to yourself for a long time but once you get in that cage that's one of the beauties about fighting like you can't lie if you really ain't about it the ain't gonna come out when Joe Silver or Sean Shelby give him that call and he and he say Kevin Lee and they look at it and they say, oh, I think I can beat that guy. Oh, you think so? Yeah, All right, well then, right there. that's yeah, disrespect. I'm taking that as personal as they come. Yeah. I'm gonna f you up. Kevin Lee is under the chin. It's not completely over yet, but it is under the chin. Now he's gonna switch the lock, and that's where it's no, 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 no. Kevin Lee will be your winner by really making choke. You know, I think we were a little disappointed we didn't get to see all five rounds, Kevin. The one thing my question was, was when he had you in that 100% when he DDT'd you, how did that make you feel? What was going on in your head when as soon as you guys slammed on the mat? Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about. I don't even know what a DDT is. I think that's a WWE move. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm the one that lifted him in the air, so I don't see how he slamming me if I got him on my shoulder, you know? Let, let's let's throw on another uh, a real journalist. I, I don't even know if he really watched the fight. You're an I athlete. Suggest, you're I an suggest athlete. you study you the fight. You have hands, but compared to myself and compared to a lot of these higher level fighters, <laughs> this is the one fighter that you had. You had Michael Chiesa. Again, I was supposed to again, fight Michael I'll... Chiesa. And the one thing is, is I will eat you up for lunch, but that's not the case because you don't meet my standards on this. You have to put in your time, kid. You we can do it. Name. It'd be easy money. Oh, easy money for sure. sure. Yeah. This was the fight to make. Me and Tony were bound to fight, whether it was gonna be a headline in the T-Mobile Arena for a world championship, or if it was gonna be in my backyard. You know you're not gonna be able to talk when you get inside that octagon. Yeah, you know you gonna know who I am, <laughs> Look, Tony, I'm gonna you up. You gonna feel it? Yeah, October oh yeah. 7. Oh yeah? I don't think Kevin Lee understands what he's getting in the octagon with. I'm an animal, man. If I want this guy to feel all the punishment that I want him to really feel, I'll take him the full five rounds. But I wanna be, Max about it, I'll finish him first. Kevin Lee, have a good fight. Make weight, show up. You ready to battle? It is about as good a fight as we could possibly put together. The win for it ends here. Tony Ferguson is the toughest fight in this division, hands down. Tony does so many unconventional things, so many weird things. It's so hard to prepare for the man. He's got great cardio, he's got that Mexican heart, and he's got undeniable will. I see Kevin being at the right place at the right time. He's game, he's got skills, and he's got decent condition. He's gonna present a fight, and it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. Why, and I love challenges. I love challenges because I like to pick them apart, put them to a test, Dust them off when I'm all done with them and send them back home. He's got a wicked, wicked darts choke. Oh, he's, he's got it! He's got it! Tony Ferguson! Nobody in this division wants to fight Tony Ferguson. That's what gets me up about this fight. I love somebody that nobody's figured out. And I love to be the one to go out there, put him down, and show the people that I'm really here and I'm the next generation. This is brutal. Matthews better move here, and there's the stoppage. How about the Motown Dino? This is for the real UFC lightweight championship. McGregor's got the paper champ, but the man's only got one fight in the division. Me and Tony Ferguson both have double digit fights in this division. The toughest division, hands down, in the UFC. And uh, October 7th will determine the real champion. These guys have interesting styles and exciting styles. So this fight has some makings to be fight of the night for sure. I'm bringing out all the tools with my toolbox in this fight. Now, with Kevin Lee, I told everybody that I was going to bring out my blades. Oh, bring the elbow there from Ferguson! I'm going to test your conditioning, I'm going to test your heart, and for sure I'm going to test that durability on that show. Ah! Oh my god! Once he gets in there and he feels my style, he going to know he way in over his head, and it's going to take a lot more than a hard head and some toughness to get him through this one. Lee's got that sunk now. There's the tap! Kevin Lee! I'm going to go in there, Rumbled this dude up so much, he wants to quit. That his corner wants to throw in that towel, and that's it. Night time! Team Alpha Cooley, baby, is coming after you harder than a fing right hook, Kevin Lee. Oh my goodness! And you're not going anywhere. Besides maybe on the gurney. Throwing up. Oh man. He thinks it's gonna be easy. This ain't gonna be easy. This is gonna be the hardest fight of his life. He loves a dog fight, but I'm gonna bring the dog up out of him. Hopefully it's a five round and I beat the out of him. He got him! Oh my god! Tony, you know you the up. El Cuckoo going night night. October 7th is El Dio de los Muertos. I'm telling you. Kevin Lee, you got problems, buddy. His name is El Cuckoo. I'll see you October 7th. I hope you got your together.
Make sure you bring your gloves and your mouthpiece.